Here we go, back again with another match preview. It's a double whammy, yet again, the same as last week. We're not down down, we're not by the beach. Yes, we're in the living room at this moment in time because my upstairs bedroom's full of my daughter's stuff because I'm getting her room sorted out. Stripped all the walls off, got a ceiling to do. Yes, someone's put wallpaper on the goddamn ceiling. What a horrible job, but it needs doing because we're nicely skimmed out to perfection. Yes, perfection, that's the word. I'll get there eventually. So, tomorrow night we take on Fleetwood Town at home. Now, last week there were score predictions for the Lincoln match and score predictions for the Burton match. And here are the people who got the correct scores. Kimberly Jeffries, Greg Paddle said Sunderland will be ones a peach and win on penalties. Michael Fish, well done. Jacob Aviard. Jimmy SCFC, Jerry Brown, Eddie Phillips, and S4 Life Pickford all got the correct scores. Now, tomorrow night we take on Fleetwood. We are in a decent run of form. Been a good week last week, one of the best weeks we've had for a couple of seasons. That's the reason why we've all got big smiles on our faces. But it'll be a different kettle of fish tomorrow night. Even though it's at home, Fleetwood, you know, I've been a little bit of a bogey team over the last couple of seasons, but that will all change tomorrow night because I feel confident in a victory. At the moment, Fleetwood are dropping the bits. They're down to 16th place when they were right up there amongst us in early days. And they have Simon Grayson, yes, the man himself, Simon Grayson, who spent 18 games as manager of Sunderland. A 16, a jolly 16% strike rate. And believe it or not, he's 51. He's 51 and I'm 50. Can you add? I think I look a lot younger than Simon Grayson, but never mind, that's a different story. He's played 18. He was in charge of 18 matches. 18 matches at Sunderland. He only won three. He drawn seven and lost eight. And he was sacked on Halloween of all days. Yes, Halloween. Spooky, yes. We got rid of the Simon Grayson ghost on Halloween. But Fleetwood, you know, we can't take the teams, these teams lightly. We've got to, you know, give it everything we have. Give, the, give our all like we did the last few games. A good result against Burton. Now, I think Simon, Simon Grayson will want to try and get one over on Sunderland. Obviously, because he's a manager of Fleetwood. He want to win no matter what to keep his job, to get his money, to pay for his rent or his mortgage in his big mansion. He'll have somewhere down, somewhere down near Fleetwood. But yeah, so we're hoping that Sunderland can win. I want to go for a 2-0 Sunderland victory. 2-0 Sunderland victory. Hopefully, it's more goals than that. But 2 0 would be very nice indeed, even though the 16th place is still a decent side. Good, good, good club, good support, good fan base. So, you know, I do wish Fleetwood all the best in the future and hopefully they can just stay up this season. Don't drop too far down the table. But yeah, let's hear some other news today as well. Boris Johnson's got his roadmap. He's got his roadmap planned out for, for football and other venues opening up with lockdown, easing out of lockdown gently. Now, he says the regular season, there'll be no fans back within the regular season. But the playoff final, if Sunderland do make a playoff final, if we do make a playoff final, we could have some fans back in the ground. And also the Euros, yes, the Euros in June, they can have fans back as well. Now, from, I think it was, I think it was from May or something, it was up to 10,000 fans allowed back. So if Wembley was to go ahead in the final, 10 thousand fans would be allowed back and on other news yes i'll, I'll read this out to you now because it's quite interesting i mean we'll call him kd you know kirill dreyfus we could call him kld kld it's like a pop group isn't it remember klf kld uh-huh uh -huh, uh-huh beep boop klf's gonna rock you remember that one Right, we've got here. Oh, yeah, I've just knocked it off the screen. We'll get it up in a minute. Here we go. This is interesting news from KLD. This is what he wants to do with Sunderland Association Football Club, the stadium, like the ground itself. Because you know, Lee Johnson's been saying the pitch was in a terrible, dire strait. It's had no money sort of into the ground at all for a long time. So laying down the law, laying down the law already, laying down the lawn already. Sunderland's home may... Sunderland's home become the stadium of floating lights. Sunderland's home may become the stadium of floating lights. After the club's new owner may install, an, a, may, 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 may install a state-of-the-art playing surface as one of his priorities. That's one of his priorities. He wants to bring in a play, you know, state-of-the-art playing surface. Now, 
Spurs do have one of these as well. So let's read some more what he says. Play on surface. Kirill KLD, French heir to a billionaire fortune, is the youngest chairman in England at the age of 23. And he's keen to make his mark. The pitch has come in for some heavy criticism from boss Lee Johnson. And Louis Dreyfus is ready to fork out half a million pound. He plans to install the same, the same HT Pro Hybrid Turf system as a Tottenham's impressive home. The service will have an integrated pitch grow lightning system with lights suspended above the pitch from rails at either end so it never comes into direct contact with the grass. Grow lights are used in most large stadiums where stands and partial roof coverings, roof coverings restrict the sunlight. However, most use wheel on structures which can which can damage the plane surface so yeah it wants to install the state-of-the-art pitch which will be amazing because it's going to cost half a million five hundred grand so KLD already it's going to set his benchmark put the mark down he wants to improve Sunderland I mean you've got a guy like him 24 year old right he's got a life ahead of him now he wants to put his mark down in the footballing world he wants to get Sunderland from the lower leagues of, of league one and get us up Back to the Premier League, and you know that will put a stamp down on him being like really a good chairman. Sort of, he wants to, he wants to have a name for himself. Basically, put him down a name for himself in the footballing world. This is what I've done. I've took over at Sunderland. They were in the depths of League One, where well, the depths of League One. They've been there for three seasons, and I've getting them in the Premier League. That's his plan. Five seasons. We we'll take each game as it comes. But that's exciting news. It is. Stuart Donald never had that kind of cash to do that sort of thing. But KLD, yes, top man. If this comes on, if this comes off, you know, only Spurs have it. So it shows the ambition, you know, this lad has. So that's a bit of good news. We can't complain about that. Now, the moment night against Fleetwood, Lee Johnson is going to play the same system as he did against Burton. So he says, whether he's just, you know, trying to keep Simon Grayson in the dark, but also he says the same team. Because of his injury problems with the defence and everything, he wants to keep the three centre backs and keep the way it is. So, do you have the greatest sports noggin? Can you get the correct score? I'm going for 2 0 home victory. What do you think? And then also at the weekend, yes, the Alexandra Stadium. We're going to play Crew Alexandra down at Alexandra Stadium. They're in 14th place. And, you know, if they can hold their own in League One and survive this season, it'll be a good season, I think, for Crew. So, at Crew, I'm going to go for a positive. A real positive note here. A stamp down of authority. I'm going to go for Crew Nil Sunderland 4. Yes, why not? Let's believe, let's dream, let's go for it. And also, Lewis Dickman is a new academy manager. So there we go. Lots of news coming out over the last few hours of the last day or so. So did you have the greatest sports look? You can get both correct scores. Correct, of course. Correct a Monday, should we say? Correct a Monday on a Monday. That's spanking. Right, so now I'm going to go upstairs and get rid of this wallpaper off the ceiling. Is my phone slipping? I think my phone's slipping in my makeshift. Office studio. Yes, my YouTube studio. Love the decor. Absolutely amazing. Right, there you go. Take care of yourselves. Enjoy tomorrow night's live stream. Yes. I'll be on the business with the live stream. Hopefully, we'll go for another victory in the league. And hopefully, we can get promoted this season under KLD and win a trophy. Well, you know, it's possible. It is really, really possible. And we have to, we have to, you know, we have to believe, believe in the people in charge. Now, we've got people now at Sunderland who we can actually believe in. So there you go. Take care. God bless me. God go with you. And we'll catch you tomorrow night for the live stream. Simon Grierson. Oh. God, I would like to put one over on him and beat him. Yeah, I definitely look younger than Simon Grayson. Even though I am a year younger, I definitely look about five years younger. Surely, yeah, come on. And again, thanks to all the wonderful comments on me. 10,000 10, subscriber videos. Much appreciated. Absolutely top class. Catch you in a bit.